They say drop shipping is saturated. <gasps> Hell no. It's definitely not saturated. Yeah. Last time you were on the channel, your business was doing around a million dollars a month. And last month, how much did your business generate in sales? We generated three million dollars in sales last month. And can you actually show the viewers maybe some of these results? Yeah. This is my Shopify dashboard for the year. 12 million in a year. So we're doing the drop shipping model, which pretty much means that whenever someone orders from us, a supply overseas ships the product to our customer. Margarita, who you just saw in Jordan's video, is actually a refugee who started drop shipping in 2018. The key to making millions with drop shipping is to one, identify the right niche and product, two, to find the best drop shipping product suppliers, three, to automate your drop shipping business, four, to differentiate your offering, five, to determine how much you want to start with from an investment perspective, six, and importantly, to use the analytics and the data to scale and maximize your profits, and last, to market, especially from an emotional perspective. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But you know what? You are in luck. Because in this video, I will share a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can build a successful dropshipping business that considers all these factors that I just mentioned. Now, Rockstars, dropshipping is not for everyone, especially some of you in the comments who say, Odetta, nothing that you share is working. Because of course, their failure has to be someone else's fault. But, but I don't mind you blaming me for your failure because I have a broad back. But remember, you never become who you want to be if you keep blaming everybody else for who you are. That said, instead of blaming others for your failure, ask yourself, what if I am doing something wrong, considering all the things that I'm sharing, whether it's making money on YouTube with specific websites or apps, is actually working successfully for other people. If they weren't working successfully, those companies and those websites wouldn't exist. So you failing at it is not an indication that it doesn't work. It could be that it's not the right side hustle, business or opportunity for you. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Remember, everything is not for everyone. And the fact that you fail at something doesn't mean it doesn't work. Failure is just a part of life. The key, however, is to not stop trying until you are proud. Because by changing your mindset to stop blaming Odetta for your failure, you may end up changing your destiny. That said, drop shipping rock stars, it's not for everyone. But if you believe it is something that you can do successfully, this video will teach you everything you need to know in just eight steps to scale your dropshipping business from a measly $100 to as much as a million US dollars. Welcome back to the Rockstar Academy. And if you're not yet a rock star, please go ahead and fix that by subscribing. And I'm looking forward to welcoming you. Now, what is drop shipping? And I could give you a textbook definition, but you know what? We're not in school. So here is a practical example. I want you to imagine that you have an online store that sells a unique skillet or frying pan, which I like to refer to as the lazy people skillet that you see me using here in our kitchen. Now with an online business, instead of filling up your garage with boxes of skillet in your inventory and trying to figure out how to deliver these skillets to your customers when they actually place an order on your website with drop shipping you partner with suppliers who already have the skillets in stock and when your customer as an example sees your skillet being advertised and they decide oh my god how have I been living without this skillet and they click the buy now button 
on your online store? The order information shoots straight over to the drop shipping supplier automatically and then the supplier handles all the packing, the shipping, the logistics, the customer service and send the skillet to your customer's doorstep. Now to make money with drop shipping, when a customer orders this skillet from your website, let's say you are selling it for $35, which is the selling price, and your buying price, which is what you're getting the skillet from the drop shipping supplier for. And as you can see here on Alibaba, the price for this skillet is about $4.22. Let's just round it up to $5 for easy mathematics. And in most cases, the customer will pay the delivery cost or you can bundle it into the price and make your price a little bit higher. But this process of you selling your product for $35 and the buyer charging you $5 for that product also happens automatically and electronically online with drop shipping. Then your profit of $30, which is the selling price of $35, less the price that the drop shipping supplier is charging you for the skillet of $5 is what you get to keep per sale. So if you are able, as an example, to sell 10 skillets per day with your drop shipping business, with a profit of $30, you'll be earning $300 US dollars per day. And of course, over 30 days, that translates to about $9,000 US dollars per month in profit. Now, don't forget to factor in some additional costs such as website hosting, the transaction fees and the marketing expenses. And the marketing expenses in a drop shipping business will be higher than most other businesses. So let's say from your $9,000, that's about $2,000 per month, your net profit will be $7,000 per month. And that's how you make money from a drop shipping business. What is key, however, is that since you are not dealing with things like inventory, logistics, shippings, and returns, you can focus more on tweaking your ads, optimizing your website, and delivering top-notch customer service. It offers a pretty cool way for any one of us to dive into entrepreneurship without a ton of upfront investment and to do so in a semi-passive way because after you have set up your store and you have identified identified and concretized your deal with this supplier, people are going to order products and get them and you're going to get your profit while you sleep, while you vacation and while you work, making it semi-passive. So that said, let's jump into the step-by-step -step process to setting up your drop shipping business. Step one is to choose your niche. You need to select a specific product category and to do so, you need to do market research to evaluate market demand, competition, and potential profitability as it pertains to specific niches. That said, I've done the work for you rock stars. Here are the top 10 drop shipping niches and I won't be able to cover this in grave details because I want to keep the video at a certain length but I'm going to be writing a blog that I'll post on my website odettarocketcar.com a few days after this video and in that blog you'll be able to get a lot more details than I'll be able to share here on this video. If I'm talking about clickable links which I'll share a few later on I'll share those on Patreon for subscribers and also I'll share them on YouTube for YouTube members to have access. But don't worry if you're not subscribed, just listen because I'll pop up the information on screen as well and you can do a quick Google search. Now first on the list of top 10 niches are eco-friendly products. And these include things like reusable bags, solar powered gadgets and eco-friendly home products and these are growing in demand as global awareness related to our environment increases. 
Health and wellness is next on our list and this includes fitness equipment, yoga, math and wellness supplements as an example and with higher priority being placed on personal health, especially after the pandemic, it's driven this niche and the popularity of it to another level. Home office equipment is another niche that's pretty popular and with remote work being more common, things like ergonomic chairs, desks, and productivity gadgets are in higher demand. Tech accessories, this has always been popular. And this encompasses a wide range of products like phone cases, chargers, and wearable tech like your smartwatch. And this niche is at the top because technology continues to evolve and people's interest is constantly peaked, so they want the latest and greatest gadgets. Pet products is another great niche. The pet industry is booming and some people actually take better care of their pets than themselves, believe it or not, rock stars. With pet products ranging from pet food to accessories and toys, pet owners are often willing to spend on their furry little friends more than they spend on their real life friends. Fashion and jewelry is another popular dropshipping niche, but this one, while being extremely competitive, is still relatively lucrative. Kids and baby products is another top niche, and this includes educational toys, clothing, baby care products, and these are constantly in demand as parents are always looking for the best products and the best deals for their kids. Kitchen and cooking gadgets like my skillet, which is a great option, is another top niche. And with this niche, you can focus on innovation or problem solving kitchen gadgets that can attract cooking enthusiasts who are looking to simplify their meal prep, especially with this generation who really don't like being in the kitchen. Outdoor adventure and gear, which includes things like camping equipment, outdoor clothing and adventure gadgets, is an area where there's a lot of growing interest and this niche has held steady appeal over the years. Now, importantly, every single one of these niches have something in common. One, high demand. Two, potential for brand loyalty, which means somebody will fall in love with your products and reorder. Three, the possibility for repeat purchases, as I just explained, which is crucial for a successful dropshipping business. Now, when choosing a dropshipping niche, it's crucial for you to consider your personal interest and expertise as well, as this can greatly influence your ability to market and sell your products effectively. As an example, I hate washing dishes. So with my Lazy People skillet, where I can cook five different things at once, it means that I'm gonna use a lot less pots in the kitchen. And with my OCD, where I don't want my plantain, as an example, to touch my eggs or my bacon to touch my eggs until I'm ready to bring it all together in my belly, I will not have to cook in separate pots because my Lazy People skillet does the job. So with this product, I've considered my personal interest and this is exactly what you need to do with your dropshipping business when it comes to your customers. Now, Rockstars, if you are getting any value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you would like it. And if you are not yet a Rockstar, please go ahead and hit subscribe so you can join the family. Now that you have finalized your niche, it's time to select your product. And I just said your product singular not products plural and that was deliberate and i'll tell you later why that's the case now to identify your product you need to conduct market research you need to also look at what competitors are selling and what potential customers are looking for you can use tools like google trends social media amazon bestseller list or alibaba bestseller list to determine the ideal product to start your drop shipping business with because the 
insights there will go a long way. In choosing the ideal product, you also need to analyze your profit margin. Look for products that offer a good profit margin. Generally, you'll need to find products that allow you to get at least a 40 to 70% markup. Rockstars, frankly speaking, if I can't double what I'm paying for the product, which is a 100% markup, I'm not choosing it. So as an example, with this skillet that I'm buying on Alibaba rounded up for about $5 from the dropshipping supplier, if I can't sell it for at least $10, I'm definitely not going to select this product. And as you can see here on Amazon, this product is selling for $45 and in some cases even $65. So by selling it for $35, that's significantly, what's that? About 400 or 500% markup and it's still cheaper than it's selling for from my competitors, making it an ideal drop shipping product. You also need to consider things Things like the shipping cost and how complex it is to get products to consumers when choosing a drop shipping product. Opt for those products that are easy to ship and are reasonable as well from a shipping cost perspective. Bulky, fragile or hazardous items can complicate shipping and increase your cost. Very important, you need to make sure the supplier is reliable. By partnering with a reliable supplier who have good reviews and a track record where they deliver on time will make or break your drop shipping business. The quality of your supplier directly impacts your customer service. You should also stay clear of highly competitive products where there's oversaturation in the market unless you have a unique value proposition and can market this product in such a way that it stands out in the sea of competition that's out there. High competition rock stars can make it very difficult for you to stand out you need to look at the trend analysis for the product. Pay attention to current trends, but be cautious about fad products. Because while you can get quick profits with fad products, they often have a very short lifestyle. Who remembers the Snuggie? This was the blanket with sleeves, which was a rave in about year 2000. Where's that blanket today? it was a fad because eventually it lost appeal. But don't get me wrong, I'm sure that drop shipper made a ton of money and may never need to work for the rest of their lives. But with a fad, it doesn't give you longevity. And if you're looking for the kind of business that you can pass to your next generation, you should avoid fad products. Consider repeat purchases. Products that encourage repeat purchases, like vitamins that run out that you have to replace, can help to build a loyal customer base and also provide a more stable income, like skincare products as an example. They do run out, you fall in love with them and you keep reordering them. Look for unique problem solving products. Products that solve problems like my skillet will attract customers. Make sure that the product or products that you choose are legal to sell in your target market and do not infringe on intellectual property rights. Let me give you an example. Recently in Jamaica, they changed the laws to say you can't mount devices that's blocking your windscreen as an example. So if you are selling in your dropshipping business a mount that goes on the windscreen or in that area, it's probably not going to be a good option anymore because it's no longer legal in Jamaica. You have to be mindful of those things. Check product quality. Whenever possible, you need to order a sample of your product. You need to use it to make sure that the quality can deliver good customer service and not miserable people who are dissatisfied with your product. High quality product will lead to better customer satisfaction and fewer returns. And although you are not the one dealing with the returns, it definitely cuts into your profits. 
and importantly you need to consider social media and online presence when choosing a product consider how marketable the product is on social media because products that are visually appealing or have the potential to go viral on social media can be advantageous now that you have your niche and your product step three is to find reputable suppliers for your drop shipping business and rockstars this is how you're gonna automate your drop shipping business because without automation you're gonna have to be the one shipping these orders when they come in and that means you have a regular e-commerce business but it is manual because you're the one doing most of the work with a supplier when your orders come into your website the supplier does the rest and that is true automation with drop shipping. Now in choosing a good supplier, you need to consider things like product quality, pricing, shipping options, and customer support. And Rockstars, guess what? I did the work for you. Here are the top 10 drop shipping suppliers out there across the globe. First is AliExpress and they're out of China and is very popular. Then there's Sale Who or Sale Ho, however it's pronounced. And they're also primarily based in China. Oberlo, and I've always struggled to pronounce this, but this is integrated with Shopify and it allows import of products from supplier right there in your Shopify store. World Worldwide Brands is the next one and this is a directory of certified wholesalers, manufacturers and drop shipping suppliers and their website is worldwidebrands.com. Doba is another one and they provide access to a large network of wholesalers and manufacturers in one place which is on their platform at doba.com. Wholesale to be is another one. Spocket is another popular one that connects retailers and suppliers from the US and the EU and they are known for high quality products and much faster shipping when compared to the others. Sunrise Wholesale and Inventory Source are others on the list and Inventory Source actually offers a directory of 230 suppliers and an automation tool for inventory and order syncing so that's another ideal supplier supplier of drop shipping products. Now all these websites offer not just the products but services and tools to help entrepreneurs like yourself navigate the drop shipping landscape effectively. After you have identified your supplier you need to start negotiating with them and in that negotiation you need to agree on the price. Make sure you get something in writing because I've had suppliers go back on their word when they realized that I was going to do a drop shipping business importantly is their turnaround time how fast will they get the product to your customers because that can make or break your drop shipping business so get that in writing as well and make sure that the supplier is reputable and if possible you can put penalties in there as well the good thing about the 10 that I've shared with you is most of them are reputable and they're very established so you shouldn't have many issues with them but still get it in writing. Now that you have your supplier, your product, and you know your niche, it's time to set up your store. And this is, of course, your online store, and this is step four. You can set up your store on platforms like Shopify, WooCommerce, or BigCommerce, which actually are designed to host a successful dropshipping business. Shopify is very popular because it's very easy to use and integration with multiple dropshipping apps like Orbalo, however you pronounce that word I mentioned earlier, is facilitated there seamlessly. Because of that, Shopify is actually a great choice for those who are looking for a quick setup that has a professional look and feel with minimal technical knowledge. WooCommerce is actually a plugin for WordPress and it allows you to convert a WordPress website into a full-fledged e-commerce business where you can do drop shipping. BigCommerce is known for its scalability and a comprehensive set of useful business built-in features. It's a very good option for businesses that anticipate rapid growth and need a platform that can actually grow with them with very little issues. Wix, which is the tool I use, 
offers user-friendly drag and drop website building tools, making it extremely easy for beginners or people who are new to tech to design a unique store. Now I have five more platforms on my list that you can actually use to set up a successful dropshipping business online. But in keeping with the time of this video, I'm gonna post those on Patreon. I'm gonna post them to the YouTube membership and whenever I post the blog later on, I'll also include these in that blog as well. But Squarespace and Equid are some of the ones that's in this list. Now, while each platform has unique features and benefits, it's so important to consider your specific business needs, your technical expertise, and your growth plan when choosing the ideal platform to start your dropshipping store. What's important, however, is that you customize the design, the layout, the branding, because unlike a physical brick and mortar store where someone walks in and there is a customer service representative that's going to help them to buy a product or to convince them or to interact with them, your website stands on its own. The product photographs, the videos, everything there needs to be crisp to grab the right attention for you to make a million dollars in drop shipping in a very short time. Now, step five is to determine your initial investment. I always suggest that you start small because in my experience, I've tried products that failed and I had to go back to the drawing board and try a few more times. When I nail that product down, what I do is I double down and invest in it in a big way. So I do recommend you start small. And as this video promised, we're starting with a hundred US dollars. From that $100, you're gonna pay about $29 for your basic Shopify subscription to get started. And you need to get a domain name, which will cost you anywhere from 10 to $20 per year. The remaining 50 to $60 you should use for marketing. And you're probably looking at me thinking, Odetta, what can $60 do from a marketing perspective? You know what? $30 on Instagram can get your product in front of three to 6,000 people online. Will they buy it? Maybe, maybe not. But if it's positioned the right way, what is expected is at least 2% conversion, which means from 6,000 views, you should have 120 sales. Remember, we're starting small and then we're gonna scale. But I'll tell you more about that later on and how to do so effectively. Now, step six is to source and list the products. Choose the products that you want to sell or the product in this case from the selected supplier. You then need to take that product information from their website and you can optimize it with ChatGPT and then paste it along with the different images, detailed description and the price on your online storefront. And like I said earlier, your website needs to stand on its own. So your photos need to be crisp and you need to be showing a product from every angle. If you can get a video of somebody using the product, even better for you to achieve success with drop shipping. Very important is you need to optimize your product listing by using relevant keywords and compelling product descriptions. This is where search engine optimization comes in and you know what I do rock stars let's say for example I want to sell this product with drop shipping on my online store I'll go to the manufacturers or the suppliers website I'll copy the description the name of the product and I'll paste it into chat GPT and I'll say write me an amazing product description for this using these details and it's gonna blow your mind as usual and then I'm gonna say give Give me the keywords to sell this product online that considers search engine optimization or SEO. And when I upload the images of the products, I'm gonna use those keywords, that description, to maximize the chances of somebody going onto Google and typing automatic fan or electronic fan or digital fan and my fan popping up to the top. 
that's really what you're trying to do when you optimize your product listing but this is so critical for you to get sales organically and not just sales that come from ads step seven is marketing and you must market your drop shipping business what i do recommend however is you appeal to emotions when you're marketing use the storytelling format for your marketing pitch and choose a narrative that resonates with your audience. For selling earbuds as an example, the storyline in your ad should revolve around music connecting people or how the product enhances daily life. For the skillet as an example, you talk about how it's amazing for those lazy people who don't want to wash three pots to make a meal and how it cooks food evenly and reduces the number of pots you need in your kitchen. You can talk about it being ideal for a student or somebody who is just starting life who don't want to have a skillet, a Dutch pot, another pot because you can do everything in that one unit. By appealing to emotions, you can also use social proof. And this is customer testimonials and influencer partnerships because this will help to build trust and desire. Imagine having a customer doing an ad for you talking about how a particular product has changed their lives. Maybe not this fan, but something else. Or imagine an influencer using your product in their daily lives and showcasing it in the form of an ad. Another way to market to emotions is by using scarcity and urgency. By saying limited time offer, that can prompt quicker purchasing decisions that will help your dropshipping business to grow. And importantly, build a community around your brand on social media so people want to be a part of it because that's another way to market from an emotional perspective. Now, why did I say one product up top? Because when you're just starting out with dropshipping, you don't want to have to figure out marketing for more than one product. You won't have to figure out too many suppliers. You can start with one, which means that your ads on Instagram can be very focused and you can use that buy button that you see often pop up on products that are being advertised on social media. With one product, you're able to double down on on that strategy. You will also be able to focus 100% on marketing, optimizing and creating promo videos and flyers for your one product instead of having to do 10 for 10 different products because that really is a dilution of effort across multiple products, especially if you are working a nine to five job and starting your drop shipping business is a side hustle until it's able to replace that nine to five job. Keep it simple, keep it small. Also, when you start with one product, it's easy for you to buy a sample of it and have your family and friends try it out and let them give testimonial because you can pass that one product around to 10 people instead of having to sample multiple products, which is gonna eat into your bank account. Now, importantly, you need to use video for promotion because this will do well on platforms like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, which is one minute content type or content formats, Instagram Story and elsewhere. Also, people's attention span is very short. So by doing a quick video instead of all the time using still images or flyers, you are able to engage at a much faster pace and as such drive sales. Now it's pretty easy to create a promo video. I use two methods to do so. One is I take the details from the product as you see me doing here on Alibaba for the skillet and I go to ChatGPT and I use this prompt. Write me a script for a one minute advertisement for social media for this product and I copy the product name from Alibaba and I place it there, which is the five in one section cast iron skillet. And then I say with a prompt, use these details in the script. And I go back on Alibaba and I copy the description of that product. I paste it in ChatGPT and I hit go. And ChatGPT will not just give you a script that's well written, but it will also show you what your scenes 
things should look like for every single scene throughout your ad. You, you may need to tweak your script, but really that's up to you. The second way that I create videos is I use the AI in video tool. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, because this is a new tool that I just showcased in this video here, where you can, with one command and one click, create professional videos in less than 10 minutes. Now, there is a lot more on the marketing, such as branding and website optimization, the SEO strategy that features the keyword search, content marketing, but Rockstars, this video is already too long. It should actually be a course, but because I want you to have access to it, I'm not going to do it as a course and sell it. I'm going to put all these details on my blog, on my website in a few days for you to have access to, and it will give you what you need to successfully launch a dropshipping business to include your SEO strategy, your social media marketing plan, your email marketing plan, how to get it started, how to start a newsletter, how to email campaigns out, paid advertisements using Facebook, Google, Instagram. It will also include customer engagement and retention strategies analytics and adaptation, which is so important because you need to track your performance and use analytical tools to monitor the performance and the marketing efforts that you're putting into your dropshipping business. Track metrics like website traffic, conversion rate, and social media engagement, and then use that to take your dropshipping business to another level. All of that will be in the blog. Now let's move on to step eight. And this is scaling your dropshipping business. And this is when you go way beyond that one product that I'm encouraging you to start with and start working towards your $1 million. In doing so, you're gonna diversify your marketing channels. Mail, explore SEO, social media, email marketing, influencer collaboration, and PPC to get your products out there. You're going to also increase your ad speed. Whichever ads are working, double down on it and increase your budget so that it will increase your sales. Very important to scaling is outsourcing non core activities. Consider outsourcing things like your graphics design, your content creation to promote your products, and your social media management so that you can focus on building your dropshipping business from a product and supplier perspective, as well as other marketing strategies. Develop loyalty program. You'll realize that almost everything I sell, I'll say to you that if you refer it to someone, you can make a commission. That's very effective effective marketing and that's what a referral program will do and that paired with a loyalty program where people can either get points or they can benefit financially when they recommend your product or get discount when they become a repeat customer will help to increase your sales as you're scaling. You also need to focus on global reach. If your current market is saturated, consider expanding to international markets and important make data driven decision. How many times have I said review your analytics? You know how many people start a dropshipping business and they go back and look at it after one month? I'm on it every day, several times per day to see where I'm getting the clicks, why aren't the clicks converting, and modifying things to ensure that it's driving conversion and in turn sales. Now let's assume that the product that you started with is the skillet and you're selling it for $35. You are getting it from the supplier at $5, which means your profit is $30. Now, after selling your first four units, you're going to make $120 US dollars. You're going to reinvest everything into marketing and keep repeating that process until you get to a million dollars. You will need to sell 33,334 skillets at $30 per unit in profit 
to make your first $1 million. And rock stars, it sounds like a lot, but when you break it down, it works out to be about 100 products per day to make your $1 million in profit in a year. And of course, this is less some additional costs related to hosting and some other things. 50 products a day, it will take you two years. 25 products per day will take you three years to make a million dollars. So it's really up to you. Most businesses in the real world out there take three years before they even make a dollar in profit. With a drop shipping business, you can start making a profit from day one, but I encourage you to reinvest that profit into marketing to drive your business through the roof. Now, rock stars, starting a drop shipping business requires dedication, perseverance, and continuous learning, which are good things for you to do anyway. Your first product, however, may be a flop. The second one may fail. Don't blame Odetta like some of those in the comments here. Go back to the drawing board and as we like to say in Jamaica, wheel and come again. Because you know what? I would say 99% of the persons out there who have successfully launched dropshipping businesses didn't get it right with their first, second, or even their third product. Until next time, walk good.